Hi there, it's Matt here and uh, last week I reviewed, well I gave you a basic overview of the Jolt and Easter Egg combo that you can pick up from Asda which got me to thinking I never actually even reviewed a Jolt so I thought I would um, because the there may be parents out there that consider buying the egg and they they don't know what the jolt's like, whether it's dangerous or whether it whether it's for them or, or their kids would they enjoy it. So um, without further ado, those are two of my jolts. I've got a couple of these. I've left my Easter egg still in its package and they still are available as of yesterday. Um, they'd still look on the shelves in three different stores so it is possible to still pick them up if you're quick. Um, I did buy an Elite Jolt a while back just because I didn't have one um, and I have one of the Orange Jolts which I found actually outperforms the Elite but seeing as you can't really get these unless you buy um, pre-owned that leaves your only option with the uh, being the elite jolt and straight out of the black out of the uh, the box the, the packaging you receive the jolt and two and straight elite dots which is strange because you would expect Hasbro just to give you the one but no they do give you the two it's very simple to use. Poke your dart in into the uh, barrel. It's it's a very simple sealed unit. Very very simple to use, um, and it, it with with the addition of the extra little grip on there it does make it slightly more comfortable to hold. But they are little and they are. For what they are, quite powerful. Um, that in, in its entirety is a plunger tube. Um, there's only a small amount of dead space, really. Um, not an awful lot. Um, but they, they, they are generally quite good. Um, to, to, to external features, there are none. This is all you get there are no rails no nothing well there'd be no point in putting a rail on there um there's no nothing it's just dark blaster or the slight difference between the OJ, orange oj jolt and the blue uh, elite is that one has a little post for sighting that one for some reason is covered up with a, a sort of orange barrel shroud for some reason um, but either way it does not perform as well as my orange one my blue does not perform as well um, performance out of the box is jolt standard nothing spectacular but everybody should own a jolt because one they're cheap two they're super fun and collectible and uh, i don't really think you need a three they're they're cheap and collectible they're, they're they're great fun there's no real need to upgrade them they're one shot blasters that you can just grab any old dart jam it in there Boom. Works every time. Um, you can't get them to jam, thankfully, um, because they can't. Um, the trigger system is incredibly simple on them. When the actual blaster is cocked, your little T-bar drawer is extended and you get a faux spring um basically the entire trigger piece is a ve very long and it runs through this pin in the center as a pivot 
when you squeeze the trigger, what it does is disengage a catch on the end of this, from the base of the plunger, allowing the plunger rod to shoot up and push your dart out. Um, which is a very, very simple mechanism. And uh, it doesn't sound like an awful lot, um, but it is surprisingly, uh, it is surprisingly powerful for, for such a little blaster. Um, there are others that are more powerful uh, for around the same size. Um, I know that Walcom is a massive fan of the Jolt and he will have every single Jolt there is in every colour and every style. But for four pounds or five, six pounds if you buy them non um, Easter egg versions. Um, but if you buy the three for ten pounds and get them for three pounds and thirty three recurring each, then uh, definitely pick up a Jolt. If you haven't got a Jolt and you've got anything else, just pick up a Jolt. They're cheap, they're fun, you can stick them in your pocket, cargo pocket, sock, um, at any point you need one, you can always have a dot ready, loaded, and then should a last chance, uh, a last stand sort of chance arise where your primary's dead and your secondary jammed, you can keep this in a sock. And then you prime it, at least you've got one shot that you can hopefully tag with. But that was my overview of Jolt. I like it. It's simple, it's fun, really easy to pack and carry. Yeah, no reason not to get one, considering the price is negligible. Um, so yeah, pick one up. Enjoy it, have fun, play with it, shoot your friends. Think around the house. They're just even with a great big trigger well, considering it's a small blaster, they're great fun. So um, for five for well for four pounds, most fun you can really have, I think. Um, but well, with an F blaster. Um, but yeah, if you want to see any more videos. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the bell icon at the bottom. Leave comments if you'd like to. Um, hopefully some constructive comments. Those are the best. Um, you can get in touch with me um, with my email, through my email address on Facebook, which will be in the show more section below, as well as any other information if it's needed. will be down there. Um, I've been Matt. You've been watching me. Thank you and have a good time, take care of each other, always wear eye protection, stay safe. Bye now.